right, so the last couple times I've been to the Bassmaster Classic, I start Classic Week by doing a couple preview videos. Well, this year's kind of a little bit different because right now we actually ain't got a car to go down there, and it's Monday, and we're supposed to leave Thursday night after I get off work. Um, we bought a new car here just, I guess, back in the middle of January, and uh, something went wrong with it. It's been in the shop for five weeks, and right now we're actually in a loaner that we have from the dealership, but getting them to allow me, or you know, me, Marissa, and my mom to take it seven hours down to Tulsa, Oklahoma, would probably be a really tough task. So, um, tonight we actually just ran down to the dealership that our car is at, because it's at a Ford dealership. Um, it was a Toyota dealership we bought it from, but they sent us to a Ford dealership to be able to get it serviced correctly. Um, but anyway, so we're on our way back from the Ford dealership, because right now all the phone lines are down in Southern Illinois, which makes it even tougher, because we were trying to get a hold of them. Uh, to see if it would be done or not, but it's actually supposed to be done Wednesday. So we're kind of very close on actually having a vehicle to go down. Um, you know, it's it's been a really crazy time. So, but anyway, that's kind of the kickoff to the week. Um, hopefully, it sounds like we're going to be able to go, but there's no guarantee that we will. And also, too, I've shaved. Last time you guys seen me in a video, I had the beard and the hair. And the hair is all over the place, but it's uh, it's getting ready to get chopped off too. So anyway, uh, that's it for now. See you in a little bit. Well, as you can tell, I finally got my hair uh, chopped off. Um, got that over with. Uh, actually, I'm on my way home now. Um, I had to drop my truck off and I met Marissa and you know we went down to the dealership together but um, so I'm ready to go home and then uh, we're going to film us a little preview video for the classic so it's going to be a good time um, like I always said this is kind of something I try to do for classic week I said earlier that I do it every classic I've been to this will only be the third I've been to and I think I did it for the last one but not the very first one so if that makes any sense but anyway so I don't know it's I made so many videos I can't remember sometimes but anyway I'm gonna do that I'm just gonna kind of give you my predictions who I think is gonna win it and uh, kind of talk about it and go from there so uh, stay tuned guys and uh, this video is actually kind of just now getting started so see you then all right everybody so I'm finally home in my garage it is time to officially start classic week I'm gonna start this off by just basically doing a video giving my predictions of what I think is gonna go down how it's gonna go down and all of that. So uh, I'm sure if you're part of the bass fishing community, you know that this upcoming weekend is the 2024 Bassmaster Classic on Grand Lake of the Cherokees down in Oklahoma, and then the weigh-in and all that will be down in Tulsa. Um, it's kind of cool for me because this is the first time I've attended a classic as a spectator that is at a lake that I have fished before. Um, I fished a Bassmaster Open out at Grand Lake of the Cherokees a couple years ago as a co-angler. I'll actually link that video down below so you guys can go check that out. But it's going to be cool uh, for me to be able to watch like the live and stuff like that and to actually like see stuff I recognize. These last two classics I attended was 20, I believe it was 2020 down at uh, Lake Gunnersville and then 2019 down at Knoxville on the Tennessee River. So I have not fished Gunnersville or um fort loud and teleco and all them lakes over there by knoxville so this is really cool to me to be able to actually attend a classic that i actually know where they will be fishing so that's really neat for me um from my research and stuff the last time that's been on grand lake was in 2016 when Evan, edwin evers won um looking at the uh weights for that um he won with a let's see a total weight of 60 pounds seven ounces and was basically 10 pounds over Jason Christie, who was in second. And then the uh, late great Aaron Martins um, finished in third with 46 pounds, 5 ounces. So I actually expect kind of the same same weights this time around. Um, you know, I think, it, you know, with the uh, invention of live scope and things like that, you know, I could see maybe them ticking up a little bit just because back when these guys fished in 2016, um, I think the weather was also a crap. Like, I think they had like a blizzard or something like that. It was either 2016 or the previous time when Cliff Pace won it. 
I believe that was 2013. Don't quote me on that, but um, I know one of the times that they were at Grand Lake, the weather's really cla really crappy, and I believe that was the 2016 Classic. Um, so, like I said, I believe it will be around kind of the same weights this time, maybe kind of ticked up a little bit, you know, maybe up uh, maybe 65 pound, maybe, you know, just a couple pounds more. Um, I think the weights will be a lot more stacked. Um, and, you know, the field is going to be loaded. Um, I tried pulling up a list of all the guys that are in it. Um, I'm going to try to go through these just really quick. Um, you know, it's there's 54 guys, so I'm just going to go through the whole list. Just bear with me. So Jeff Gustafson, Patrick Walters, Justin Barnes, Ben Milliken, Pal Kemp, Adam Rasmussen, Joey Nina, Tyler Williams, Kyle Patrick, Matt Messer, Easton Fourth. Father Gill, uh, excuse me if I mispronounce that, Aaron Yavorsky, Will Davis Jr., Tim Doobie, Josh Wisner, Kyle Welcher, Brandon Cobb, uh, Drew Cook, Joyce Fuentes, uh, Jay Shakira, Kyle Fujita, Brian Schmidt, Tyler Rivette, Setson Blaylock, Luke Palmer, Drew Benton, Brian Smith, John Cox, Matt Robertson, Shane LaHue, Cooper Gallant, Chris Johnson, Pat Schlappler, Greg Hackney, Brandon Card, Hunter Shryock, Kenta Kimura, Austin Felix, Justin Hamner, Corey Johnson, Brock Mosley, Scott Canterbury, Bob Downey, Cody Huff, Taku Idu, Carl Jockamson, Jacob uh, Prosnick, Brandon Polinick, Lee Livesey, Jason Christie, Matt Airy, Hank Cherry Jr., Clark Winlet, David Gaston, Cole Sands, and Paul Mueller. So I know that's a mouthful. But that is the classic fill for this year. Um, so who do I think my favorite is for this year? Obviously, it's easy to go with the local guy, Jason Christie. Um, he is now a Bassmaster Classic champion from a few years ago. Um, you know, he kind of finally got that monkey off his back. It took him a while to ever actually win one. And then he now he finally has one. I think definitely he could win his second one. But a guy that I could really see doing well is Ben Milliken. Um, you know, he's a big YouTuber. He's been tearing up, you know, the bass fishing world for several years now. I just, I really could see him, could see him doing really, really well. And just kind of going through the list here a little bit, you know, of just seeing if there's any other names that really pop out to me that I, you know, Stetson Blaylock, that's another guy that has come close and has been in that super six on championship Sunday several times. I could really see him. I could see him making a really good run at it. Um, Matt Airy. Matt Airy always seems to have a decent showing in the classic. Um, the never count out guys like Kyle Welter that just seem to catch him everywhere he goes. Um, then you, I mean Hank Cherry Jr. He's a two-time classic champion now. I mean it's just the field's loaded. It really is. Um, Let's see. I think if I had to pick, just going through the list, one guy, if like somebody just made me pick, I think I'm going to go, I'm going to go with Kyle Welcher. I really do. He has, you know, uh, the year that Christie won, he was the runner-up. And, you know, I think... Like I said, he just he, he catches him everywhere he goes. And I think, you know, Grand could be a lake that could kind of set up to his style of fishing a little bit. Um he's kind of a hammer, and you know that's kind of a probably maybe a little bit of a sleeper pick a little bit. I don't know. I know everybody's gonna be picking Jason Christie, so I didn't want to go with the cliche pick a little bit, but um I feel like Wilcher, you know, definitely he can catch them all ways. He you know, it it grand, I say shallow, but you know, grand a lot of times it's you're, you're fishing pretty deep water regardless of time of the year, you know, stuff like that. Um, so I think, you know, I think this really sets up pretty well to, to, for Kyle Welcher style fishing. You know, he fishes a lot of them, uh, you know, like Tennessee river lakes and things like that, like Chickamauga and all that. And I really think, you know, just from my experience fishing at Grand, it reminds me a lot of a Tennessee river lake, just kind of the way it, it kind of looks and, you know, like, it's a little bit deeper, though, in spots in your most typical Tennessee River lakes and stuff. But I definitely think uh, I definitely think he's going to have a shot at it. So that is actually my pick. So um, drop in your comments who your guys' pick is. 
Um, I'm going to try to do another video maybe tomorrow night talking about my fantasy team and all that. So hopefully you guys will see that. Um, and something a little different this year for Classic Week. You know, I've taken a couple years off from this. I've kind of been been kind of down in the dumps a little bit because the last couple years I haven't been able to go to the Classic and it kind of kind of stinks. Um, you know, it's probably one of my favorite things to do out of the whole year and uh, kind of stinks when you, it's hard to get your heart into it when you're not actually attending it. But um, so I'm wanting to get back into this. And like I said, guys, you know, I should be attending it this year. Um, you know, the Lord willing, the car gets done on time and things like that. But um, something we're doing a little different this year, we've actually got a sponsor for our classic video series. And that sponsor is Candlewick Cove Resort out in Grand Lake, or sorry, out in Grove, Oklahoma, at Grand Lake of the Cherokees. So guys, their website is candlewickcove.com. That is C-A-N-D-L-E-W-Y-C-K-C-O-V-E.com. Um, when I fished the Bassmaster Open a few years ago, that is where I stayed. And uh, they have decided to partner with us for this series. They're going to be a sponsor of it. And, you know, guys, if you're ever out in the Grand Lake of the Cherokees area, I know a lot of guys who watch these videos is from that area. And, you know, a lot of guys travel and fish. They'll fish Toyota Series and, you know, Bassmaster Opens and stuff out there. I highly recommend checking them out. When we get down there, we will do a video just showcasing uh, the resort so you guys can see that. But it is a really wonderful place to stay. It is safe. You know, like a lot of times when I travel, I've got my wife and my mom with me and, you know, stuff like that. It is the type of place that, you know, it, it's safe for them, you know, to be at. It's like a little community. It's very safe. It's monitored all the time. It's just a great location. Um, you know, like I so said, if you got, like I said, you know, your wife or family traveling with you, it's a safe place for them. Um, it's right there at the lake. So, you know, if you want to even do a little pleasure fishing, you know, whatever. I mean, you can literally walk right down to the docks and fish. Um, we're actually going to be staying in a two-bedroom cabin. So that's going to be really nice. We're going to have like a little living area and things like that. But you guys will see all that when we get down there. So looking really forward to it. Um, this video is a little over 10 minutes now. So we're going to wrap it up here. But So my pick for the 2024 Bassmaster Classic is Kyle Welcher. Um, I think he's going to do well. Like I said, he was a runner-up a couple years ago. Um, he definitely knows how to shine bright on the classic stage. And uh, I think this might be his time. So stay tuned, guys. Let's see how it unfolds. And like I said, next video will be my Rapala Fantasy Fishing Picks for the Classic. And then we'll, the next video after that will probably be heading down to the Classic. So stay tuned, guys. Uh, God bless you. See you next time. You won't want to miss them. Make sure you subscribe. Before we go, make sure you subscribe because I know a lot of my uh, viewers are not subscribed to the channel. So if you guys would, please subscribe. Help us hit that 1,000 mark for this year. We're almost to 500. So uh, just, you know, basically doubling where we're at and getting to 1,000 would be great. So please subscribe. That's it, guys. God bless you. See you next time. Take care.